Next up, tail of the tape. Raphael Colonese, black belt, 74 kilograms, very tactical from Fight Zone London, and Jonas Grace from the New Wave Academy. And we've seen his dangerous dash chokes in previous rounds. Can he secure that again? We'll find out. Grace already looking to tower over Colonese. Wow, massive height difference there. That's going to translate in the reach as well, but you can also put it in the fact that Colonese will be able to get underneath and grab the legs a little bit more easier being lower and closer to those legs if he wants to get the take down. 100%, the lower centre of gravity is always better for wrestling. Mind you, those long legs can come in handy as well, right? We see Jonas now with his neck trapped. He's usually one trap in the next, looking for the guillotines and the Darcy's. He's going to have to be methodical in his advance here. And fighting is Grace. Grace already putting on a very frenetic and ferocious pace. He's looking always to charge forward, grab the head, come off on hooks, looking for the outside trips. Yeah, Raphael's managing to keep the inside with the, uh, at least with one hand anyway. It's uh, pretty even at the moment. Colonnese now dropping down for the legs. Can he secure the double? Gets it. Just evades out of that guillotine music. Yeah, absolutely. I think he kept his head nice, nicely in the center, so uh, I don't think he was much in danger there. And here we see the MMA experience from Grace losing the overhooks. But often MMA fighters will use that overhook to secure the triangle here, but Colonnese did a great job of grabbing that right leg of Grace. Uh, he's a seasoned grappler, I think he's, uh, he's always going to be aware of that. Nice little shoulder crunch by uh, Jonas there. He loses position. He just to keep the feet on the inside though. Chris doing a great job of framing away, looking to suck the legs out and get back to his feet. Colonnese <laughs> taking his time it seems here, he's waiting for the ample opportunity as he sits back onto the mat here. Colonnese, a black belt, Grace, a brown belt. So this being a uh, Group A match, I think uh, Raphael's already fought Jed. Uh, Mark already uh, fought against, was it Jonas in the first round? Uh, so this is the second match in for this group. Colonnese briefly just chasing the leg. Now looking to take the back here. Grace really fighting that right hook to prevent the back take as he turns in. Beautiful work from Grace. Colonnese now looking to work the De La Hiva. Potentially looking for the back here. Grace now looking to square his hips, inverting here. Nice Granbury roll. Putting the guillotine to evade. Beautiful work from Grace. He just ties everything together so perfectly. If he wants to escape, he'll threaten a submission to secure his escape. He won't just concentrate on the escape and allow his opponent to advance. Oh, look at that. Elevation, Elevation to the armbar. Arm Beautiful. Just managed to get out. He finds it difficult to get his left leg over the head and uh, Jonas finds his space to get out. That's a lovely attempt there. A nod of approval from Grace as they reset as well. Rightly so. It's very difficult to catch on a high level guy, isn't it? The helicopter arm bars because they almost see it come in and they, they can feel when their body is elevated off the mat. Especially in no gear, it's hard to get a purchase of your opponent. So, uh, so it's very, did a great job to try and get, uh, get him up, up over his head and uh, over to the arm. But like I say, the left leg was the only thing that uh, stopped him from being able to get it. So Raphael's yet to score on the group table as well. So let's see if he can uh, get something out of this match. Full lock attempt here. Thumb up to his opponent. I think he's using it to elevate to the back. Beautiful, oh, nice look back. Nice inversion to the back there. Using it to try and tangle the legs. Transitioning from X to single X. Brings that reap across the leg. Maybe going for a Kaiatera footlock, maybe, in this position. Not sure what he's doing with that leg, actually, to be honest, but let's see, yeah, let's see what comes of it. The flexibility, though, you can see the hips and the legs almost to the chest 
of Call of Amazing. Yeah, some crazy hip flexibility there. And we saw that a lot from BJ Penn back in the days, his ability just to move his legs like arms, and that offers a great affordance in the grappling arts. Get to the back there. Oh, both hooks in now. Corner lazy on the back, looking for the submission attempt. Grace is fighting out of this position. Body triangle here. Now, with the body triangle, Yusuf, ultimately, what is Colin Aze's objective here? Is it to keep Grace where he is or to prevent the roll? I think it's to keep him square on the hips, really, so, uh, so we can start attacking the neck. It looks like he's trying to attack the outside arm here. He's back to the neck again. It's not the ideal position to have his uh, have his body lock as well, but I think Rafa knows what he's doing from there, and he's so to switch onto the top there. Smart play by Colin Hayes. He felt the pressure on the ankle and immediately switched to the body lock on the other side, as you alluded to. Jonas did a smart job by moving to the other side again, so now Rafa has to open those legs. Good defense by Jonas there. There's the flexibility again of Colin Hayes. The black belt from fighter zone, using his attributes to his advantage. And there we have it, a very interesting match, a back and forth match from these two competitors. But again, we would go to the judges' decision. Three judges here at submission series. Decision by Raphael, so Raphael gets 35 points on the leaderboard there in, uh, in Group O. So no split decisions as of yet, so they've all been either submissions or unanimous decisions, which is good to see. There was a double leg we saw from Colin Lazy. He did a great job of scooping the legs to the side, immediately looking to, immediately looking to pop that head out of the guillotine. And there was that helicopter armbar attempt. Beautiful work, very high level stuff to catch on a high level guy as well, but Grace rolling out of that position. Look at that elevation, beautiful work. Okay, toe, toe hold to the back, so Hafa half uses this. I mean, obviously the hips aren't isolated, so it makes it easy for him to be able to work the back there. This was Colonese's back take, but that won him the win. And I say that was a good, good decision by the referees there. 